Hello, and welcome back to Pray, Plan, Repeat. I am Chanel. Thank you so much for coming by. So I know you see me here with another video. I'm going to try to keep them at least coming up. Don't mind that. I'm going to try to keep them up. I'm going to try to keep the videos coming at least once a week. Okay? Once a week. If you did not see my last video, I went ahead and made this planner a transformer planner. And they were on these discs, but I went ahead and put them on the extender disc. As you can see, they are a lot bigger. Let me show you the other way so you can really see it. So these are the extender disc, and this is the classic size disc that was on here. But I realized it wasn't enough room, so I moved it. I also changed up some stuff in here, so let me show that to you guys really, really quickly. Instead of my loose paper being in the front, I went ahead and added it to the back. And I used this cover. This cover is so pretty, I really wanted to use it. So I used this cover, and this is where I'm going to have my loose paper at. So I can take my notes and stuff like that. So this gives me a hard side. So either if I'm writing on this side, I have this cover on the back too, the same cover on the back, so I have something hard to write on, solid. And if I flip it over, I can write on here too, and um, I don't really feel the lumpiness of anything else going on on the page. I still have like a solid, you know, surface, and I can use both sides. So we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my own planner paper. I guess it'll make sense if I just leave this open, like I'm going to insert it back in here. So I'm just gonna leave this open, but I'm gonna make my own sheets like this, especially if you don't wanna go and uh, spend extra money buying more of the loose paper. Not trying to be mean, but if you don't wanna go and spend any more money on buying the loose paper, here's a way for you to do it and save some coins. And um, I don't think it will work just fine. So well, let's get started. So as you guys can see, I have some plain writing paper, some plain loose writing paper. This happens to be college rule paper. As you can see, the lines are very, very close together. Now with this one, you can use college, you can use wide rule. It's all up to you. I like writing with college rule paper. My kids write with wide rule. Yeah, we're gonna put that right back down. So the simplest way to do this and to use this into your happy planner is that you just wanna take a loose sheet of paper. Even if you wrote on it, it don't matter. Uh, you just want a loose sheet of paper. You're gonna take this, you can either line it down at the corner down here and then you can trace around it like this or like how I'm gonna be utilizing it for, I'm going to use it and mark it up at the top corner up here and trace around it. So let me go ahead and do that for you guys. Oh, come on. I need some. All right. So here's my pencil, and you just need a, str a straight edge of some sort. I'm going to use this um, broken um, little page marker thing. <laughs> I'm just going to use this to help me make a straight line. And you're just tracing around the happy planner paper like that. I'm going to push it down. And then you're going to uh, do the same thing for the bottom edge. Just like that right there and then you're just gonna move this page out the way you're you are officially done with this page 
Well, you may be and you may not be. It depends. So now, as you can see, I have traced around this right here. And this right here will make the perfect size for your classic happy planner. Because I am using a classic happy planner. If I did not mention that, I'm using a classic happy planner. So, then the next thing you need is, why is my chair going down? What is going on here? So next you're gonna need a pair of scissors. These are a pair of scissors that you can use and you're just gonna cut out, we'll, we'll cut this out using the pair of scissors. But I'm not gonna use the scissors because I have the paper cutter and I don't wanna sit here all day. So I'm just gonna bring my paper cutter right over here and I'm gonna line it up and cut it. Just line it up as best as you can. Then you're gonna, well, I thought that was cut all the way through. All right, then you're just gonna move this piece out the way. And I'm gonna flip it and measure the other side. I might need a new blade, y'all. I might need a new blade. I'm just gonna push that out. And there I have my paper for the classic size Happy Planner and it's the same exact size. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of my paper here. So there you go, we have the size of a happy planner sheet. Now the only thing we're missing is the holes. So if you have a hole puncher, you would take your paper and line it up to the edge. You line it up to the edge like this, and then just mark where you need to place your holes at, and then mark where you need to make your slits. That's all you will do, and then you will hole punch it and use your scissors to make your slits. But if you have the classic happy planner punch or even the big one, this will work out just fine. And these are some I have already done already, but I'm gonna go ahead and do these with you guys. Now, if you think your paper is a little too thin, because you know this is just regular writing paper, and you wanna make sure like it doesn't rip, like the holes don't rip, you can just take some washi tape. So I'm gonna take some washi tape and I'm going to line it up here. I think I'm gonna get some skinnier one, a skinnier type of washi tape, and line it up here. 
and then I'm going to hole punch it. And then you would just take your hole puncher and go ahead and proceed to put holes in here as I'm doing. So you basically just want to make sure you have tape on both sides. You don't have to do like I did, uh, you know, an extra little strip of tape. I just did that. There we go. So now I got my planner back up here. And as you can see, we got our one sheet and it's all decorative with its tape. We're just gonna put it in here. And then all the rest of them. And there you go. You have extra planner paper right in here. And you can buy you a pack of paper now. It's, you know, it's back to school time. Probably what for like two, maybe not even $2 for a pack of 100 sheets of paper. What it's gonna cost you less than how much it costs for a pack of these. And these usually have like 20 or 40 sheets in them. So yeah, like why not save you some coins? All right, there you go. I got me some extra writing paper. I even did a little design on the side right here. So it's still stylish. It's still nice. So if you guys enjoyed this little DIY, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I got some more DIY videos in my head that I'm trying to think of how I'm going to get them out. So, um, if you would like to see those, please let me know down below in the comments and I will be sure to do those videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again later. Bye.